Hey, this is Andrew Brown, and in this follow along, I want to show you how to create your own GitHub account. Every single developer on the planet should have a GitHub account because it's a great way to showcase your work. Uh, we'll talk about that later, but you can see that I'm already logged in here, so I already have a GitHub account. And what I'm going to do is log out, and I'm going to create a new one from scratch. So here we can see uh, we can have multiple ones. Um, I'm going to just sign out of all of my accounts here. And let's go ahead and create ourselves a new one. So I'm not sure. Remember I told earlier, I told you they're like the leading AI powered developer platform, which is such a silly term. But um, let's go ahead and see if we can make a new one. So just in case it's the future and they've changed this homepage, I'm going to go up to sign up. And I'm going to see if I can make an account, if I can find an email that has not been used so far. So I'm going to type Andrew example.co. If you're using Gmail, so I can't use that one. If you're using Gmail, you can use like plus signs to um, create multiple ones. So like my really, really personal email, don't email me because I don't ever check this one, is like omenking at gmail.com. You'll learn that my username on GitHub is omenking. Why it is that? I don't want to talk about it. It's like forever ago. I made this account like so long ago, and I really wish I could have got Andrew Brown as my username, but that's not what it is. And so I'm just gonna go here and say alt. Okay, so this is a trick with Gmail that you can do. You can put a plus alt on it or uh, maybe a minus, I'm not sure. But let's go ahead and see if that works. And I need to create a password. So I like to generate really strong passwords. Um, you can use whatever you want. I like to use, hold on here. <laughs> I like to use this site, which is the uh, password generator plus, passwordgenerator.net. Um, I should make a disclaimer if this isn't secure, don't use it, blah, 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 but I'm pretty sure it's fine. So I'll usually go like 24 and get a nice long password. Um, and I'll just generate a few different ones off screen here and I'm gonna enter that in, okay? So just generate out a few and I'm gonna drop this in on here. Okay, we're gonna hit continue. Says it's strong, that's good. And then I gotta choose my username. So I probably can't get Andrew Brown and um, so I need like another name. I'm gonna try Durano. Not available. Uh, that's like my game uh, gamer uh, uh, tag on um, Steam. So what's another one that I could have? Uh, we'll just say Andrew Cloud. Can I get that one? <laughs> so hard. We'll just say Andrew WC Brown. Can I get that? There we go. WC is my mid middle initials. It doesn't stand for water closet, okay? <laughs> I know it looks like that. We'll go ahead and hit continue. I'm gonna hit continue again. And so now what I need to do is do this verification. Please solve this puzzle so we know you're a real person. Uh, verify. Okay, use the arrows to rotate the object to the face in the direction of the hand. Okay, use the arrows. So I think I have to make it face the same way, match the angle. Okay, uh, this way, okay. There we go, create my account. And so now I need to open up that email. Just give me a moment, okay? All right, so I've been waiting a few minutes and I haven't seen anything and I reset the code. So maybe it doesn't like emails that have that plus in there. It's totally possible. So I might actually have to go ahead and create a new email, which is quite the headache uh, as I ran out of emails here. Uh, unless I can think of another one. You know what? I think I have another idea. I'm gonna use uh, a different one here. So it looks like unverified. Can I change this? I'm gonna try, um, because you have a, a privacy e uh, privacy email, uh, will be used for account related stuff. Mm, yeah, I'm not really sure what's going on here. I thought maybe my account even exists, but it looks like it already does exist. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add another one. I can do Andrew maybe at teacherseat.com. We'll try that. Oh, it's already in use. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's so hard to get an email out here. Okay, let me just think about this for a second, all right? All right, another thing I'm gonna try is I'm gonna try uh, maybe accounts at teacherseat.com. That's another one that I might be able to use. Okay, and I'm gonna change this over here and save it. Great, and that should be my primary now, right? Oh, it really wants to send it to this one. Maybe what I can do is I can click 
Oh, it looks like we have both. Okay, so we have this one. Um, please verify the, I'm gonna get rid of this one here because that one's not working. I'm gonna try uh, accounts at teacherseed.com. So that's in my Outlook, so I'll go take a look there and see if I get it. All right, so uh, this is working out totally fine. So over here we have um, the confirmation email. So I can go ahead and just verify that email. We can also just grab this link. I kind of prefer using the link here because um, that just gives me kind of a guarantee. And we'll go here and now we're in. So this is exciting. Um, it's been a long time since I've made a new GitHub account, so I'm not sure exactly what to expect. But it looks like we have some places we can start, start a new project, collaborate with your team, learn how to use GitHub. Hey, I'm already doing that. You don't need to do that, GitHub. Let's go ahead and skip this for now, and we should get back to our main dashboard. So we are now in, and we have an account that we can use. Um, so yeah, that's all I wanted to show you in this video, uh, but I'll see you in the next one, okay? Ciao.